Hello, this is Mark Solomon with GW Micro. In this How Do I Do That tutorial, we'll demonstrate how to download, install, and get started with WindowWise for Office. WindowWise for Office is a powerful screen reader developed by GW Micro and can be downloaded free of charge and used by anyone who has Microsoft Office 2010 or later installed on their Windows PC. WindowWise enables people who are blind and visually impaired to use a computer independently by translating the visual information displayed on the screen into accessible speech and braille output. For this tutorial, I am using a Windows 7 64-bit computer running WindowWise 8.4 and Internet Explorer 11. Even though I will be using WindowWise, the instructions provided in this tutorial should work even if you are using a different screen reader. Whenever I use a command that is specific to WindowWise, I will make a note of it so you will know to use the corresponding command available in your screen reader. Here are the six important getting started tasks that will be covered in this tutorial. Number one, verify WindowWise for Office eligibility and computer requirements. Number two, download WindowWise for Office. Number three, install WindowWise for Office. Number four, restart the computer. Number five, complete the WindowWise Quick Start Wizard. And number six, register WindowWise. Verify eligibility and computer requirements. Before attempting to download or install WindowWise for Office, you should first determine if you are eligible to use WindowWise for Office. While anyone can download WindowWise for Office, the software will run in 30-minute demonstration mode until it detects a valid installation of Microsoft Office 2010 or later. I already have Microsoft Office 2010 installed on my PC, and I would strongly recommend that you install Microsoft Office before installing WindowWise for Office. Please note that Microsoft Office 2010 Starter Edition is not supported and WindowWise for Office will operate in demonstration mode if Starter Edition is the only version of Office installed on the computer. WindowWise for Office is currently compatible with Microsoft Windows XP, Vista, 7, 8, and 8.1. WindowWise for Office is also compatible with Windows Server 2003, 2008, 2008 R2, and 2012. You will need to have one of these supported operating systems installed on your computer to use WindowWise for Office. The minimum hardware requirements for using WindowWise for Office are the same as the requirements for running your operating system. A sound card with speakers or headphones connected will be required for audio output. For best performance, it is recommended that you have a minimum of 2 gigabytes of RAM and a multi-core processor. As a general rule about computer performance, the more RAM or main memory you have and the faster your processor is, the better. Download WindowWise for Office. WindowWise for Office can be downloaded from www.windowwiseforoffice.com. I will type this address into the Run dialog, which can be opened by pressing Windows key and the letter R as in Romeo, and then I'll press Enter to open the web page in my default web browser, Internet Explorer. Open O Combo Edit Box. W, 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 period, W, I, N, D, O, W, E, Y, E, S, F, O, R, O, F, F, I, C, E, period, C, O, M. Now that the web page is loaded, I will navigate to the Select Language Combo Box so I can choose the English version of WindowWise for Office. Press the WindowWise Browse Mode Navigation key C as in Charlie to navigate to the Select Language Combo Box. Select Language Combo Box Select Language. Press Enter to turn Browse Mode off. 
press E as an echo to select English. English. Select language English closed combo box. Press tab to navigate to the download now button and press enter to activate the button. Download now button. Do you want to run or save window eyes for Office English 8400.execute left paren 137 megabyte right paren from windowas4office.com Run Alt plus R. Save Alt plus S. Internet Explorer displays the notification bar and asks me if I want to run or save the file. I will activate the Save button in the notification bar by pressing Alt-S to save the WindowWise for Office installer to my Downloads folder. 7% of window eyes for Office English 8400 left paren 1 right paren dot execute downloaded 8 min 30 SEC remaining. The download time will vary depending on your internet connection speed. While the file is being downloaded, the notification bar will present the time remaining as well as the percentage complete. If you want to check the current status of the download, press the WindowWise hotkey Insert N as in November, and WindowWise will read the information presented in the notification bar. 95% of window eyes for Office English 8400 left paren 1 right paren dot execute downloaded 26 SEC remaining pause alt plus P. Cancel alt plus C. View downloads alt plus V. Close. Running security scan view downloads alt the window eyes for Office English 8400 left paren 1 right paren dot execute download has completed. Install window eyes for Office. If you already have window eyes installed on your computer, it will need to be uninstalled before you can install window eyes for Office. Window eyes can be uninstalled using the Add Remove Programs Control Panel Applet in Windows XP or the Programs and Features Control Panel Applet in Windows Vista and newer. I have already uninstalled WindowWise from my computer and restarted. I will use Narrator to locate and run the WindowWise for Office installation program located in my Downloads folder. Narrator is the basic screen reader built into Windows. Under Windows 7, you can launch Narrator by opening the Start menu, typing Narrator into the Search Edit box, and pressing Enter. Narrator can also be launched by pressing Windows key U as in Uniform, followed by Alt N as in November. As a side note, under Windows 8.1, you can press Windows plus Enter to launch Narrator. I'm now opening my start menu by pressing the Windows key and typing Narrator into the search edit box. N-A-R-R-A-T-O-R -R -R, followed by Enter. Initial Microsoft Narrator window focused on quick help button. Contr control. Once Narrator is initialized, open the start menu using the Windows key. Windows Start menu for mark. Focus on search box. Control, control. Type downloads into the search edit box and press enter to open the downloads folder. D O W N L O A D S enter. Location bar. Desktop backslash mark backslash downloads. Focus on SO and YPM B non selected. Control. Press W as in Whiskey until WindowWise for Office English.exe is selected in the list of files. W WindowWise for Office English 8400.exe selected. Control. And when I press Enter, 
it will run the WindowWise for Office installation program. If you are presented with a user account control prompt, press Alt-Y to allow the program to run. You will then need to wait several minutes while the installation program extracts files and prepares the setup process. Once the setup files are extracted, a temporary copy of WindowWise for Office is launched, making the remainder of the installation process fully accessible. I will now exit Narrator so I don't have two speech programs running at the same time. Press Alt-Tab until you find the Microsoft Narrator window. Tab. 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 Microsoft Narrator. Microsoft Narrator. Task switching. Window open. Control. Press Alt-X to activate the exit button. Alt-X. X. Exit Narrator. Exit narrator. Focus yes, on Y yes button. button. Contains Yes button. No button. Are you sure you want to exit Narrator? Press Enter to activate the Yes button and confirm that you want to exit Narrator. Dialog Quick Install. Yes Y button. And now my focus returns to the WindowWise Setup window. The first dialog presented in the WindowWise Setup program asks me if I want to use the Quick Install. If I answer yes, very few questions will be asked and the installation will be extremely simple. However, if I wanted to install WindowWise using options different than the defaults, I would choose no. I want to use the quick install, so I will now press enter to activate the yes button. Name edit box. Dialog user information. Next, the user information dialog prompts you for your name and company. I will type my name into the name edit box, press tab, and then type my company in the company edit box. M A R C Company O edit box G W Sp M I C R O After typing in my user information, I will press enter to activate the next button. User information. I do not accept the terms of the license agreement D radio button check 2 of 2. In the WindowWise end user agreement dialog, press Alt A to check the I accept the terms of the license agreement radio button and then press enter to activate the next button. A. I accept the terms of the license agreement, a radio button checked one of two. Window Eyes 8.4 Setup After accepting the license agreement, the setup program will copy and install all of the required files to your hard drive. This may take a few minutes, and during this time a progress bar will be displayed. After all of the files are copied and installed, the Quick Setup Complete dialog will be displayed. Window Eyes 8.4 Setup Cancel button Dialog Window Eyes 8.4 Setup Setup Status Window Eyes is configuring your new software installation Window Eyes 8.4 Setup Restart Computer Now Our Button Dialog Quick Setup Complete Thank you for choosing GW Micro and Window Eyes Your quick installation of Window Eyes is now complete For your convenience Control Alt W has been set up as a system shortcut key. This means when Window Eyes is not running, you can press Control Alt W to launch your copy of Window Eyes. Before you can use the new copy of Window Eyes, you must restart your computer. If you wish to restart the computer now, please select the Restart Computer button. If you wish to restart later, please select the Restart Later button. Before I press enter to activate the restart button, I wanted to point out that when the computer restarts, WindowWise for Office will start automatically. If Windows requires you to sign in, 
WindowWise will be available at the sign-in screen. After logging into Windows, WindowWise will announce, Installing default apps, please wait. And a series of tones will be played, and then WindowWise will say, App installation complete. After the default apps are installed, WindowWise will launch the Quick Start Wizard. I'll now press Enter to restart the computer. Window eyes for office installing default apps, please wait. App installation complete. Next end button. Dialog window eyes quick start wizard. Complete the quick start wizard. The window eyes quick start wizard is an app which asks you a series of questions and allows you to quickly set up your speech, braille, and keyboard preferences without having to do so manually through the WindowWise user interface. I will now demonstrate how to complete the Quick Start Wizard. Press Enter on the first screen to activate the Next button and begin the Quick Start Wizard. Next End button. I am presented with a list containing my speech voice options. If you wanted to use a different speech voice instead of the default voice, you could tab to the list and use your up and down arrow keys to select your preferred voice option. Please note that Microsoft Speech Platform and eSpeak are the two speech synthesizers that are included with WindowWise for Office. If you would like to use DeckTalk Access 32, Eloquence, Vocalizer, or Vocalizer Expressive, you would need to order these voices from GW Micro. I will press Enter to keep the default speech voice option and go to the next step. Dialog Window Eyes Quick Start Wizard Voice Rate. I am now presented with an up down edit box for customizing my voice rate. You can choose any value between 1 and 100, 1 being the slowest and 100 being the fastest. I will tab to the voice rate up down edit box, type in 40, and then press enter to go to the next step. Cancel button. Voice rate 50 up down edit box. 4. 0. Math symbols like plus, dash, slash. The next step of the Quick Start Wizard allows you to customize what punctuation symbols will be spoken when reading text. There are three unchecked checkboxes, math symbols, textual symbols, and miscellaneous symbols. Most screen reader users prefer not to have punctuation spoken by default, so I will leave the checkboxes unchecked and press enter to go to the next step. If you wanted one or more of these types of punctuation symbols spoken, tab to the corresponding checkbox and press spacebar to check the checkbox. None list box, one of 69, none list box, one of 69. I am now given the opportunity to select the bro display that I want to use with WindowWise. If you have a Braille display connected to your computer, select it from the list of options using first letter navigation or your up and down arrow keys. Since I do not have a Braille display connected, I will leave none selected in the list of options and press enter to go to the next step. Next end button. Dialog window eyes, quick start wizard typing echo typing echo. Now I can choose my typing echo settings. In other words, what do I want to hear when I press keys on my keyboard? The default setting is speak every keystroke as I type, and this option is recommended for those who are new to using a screen reader. If you are more experienced, you may choose to use a less verbose option 
such as speak only words when I press the spacebar. I will demonstrate how to select this option. Press tab until you reach the group of radio buttons and hear don't change my current settings radio button checked 505. Cancel button. Don't change my current settings radio button checked 505. Press up arrow until the speak only words when I press the space bar radio button is checked. Don't speak anything when I type radio button checked 4 of 5. Speak both keystrokes and words radio button checked 3 of 5. Speak only words when I press the space bar radio button checked 2 of 5. And then press enter to go to the next step. Show the window eyes icon in the notification area. This step of the quick start wizard allows me to choose whether or not I want window eyes to be in the Alt tab program list. The default option is show the window eyes icon in the notification area, also known as the system tray, out of the Alt tab list. This is the best option if you are an experienced user and don't want your screen reader showing up when you are switching between running programs. I prefer to be able to Alt tab to window eyes, so I will select this option now. Press tab until you reach the group of radio buttons and here show the window eyes icon in the notification area out of the alt tab list radio button checked one of two. Cancel button. Show the window eyes icon in the notification area out of the alt tab list radio button checked one of two. Press down arrow to check the show window eyes in the taskbar and the alt tab list radio button. Show window eyes in the taskbar and the alt tab list radio button check two of two. And then press enter to go to the next step. Finish F button. Dialog window eyes quick start wizard keyboard layout. The final step is to select your keyboard layout. You can choose between the insert key layout, the default layout, and the laptop layout. The insert key layout is helpful for those familiar with the keyboard commands used in JAWS. The default layout is ideal for those using a full-size keyboard. The laptop layout is a good option for those using a compact keyboard without a full number pad, like the ones you find on many portable computers. If you want to use the insert key or laptop layout, tap to the group of radio buttons and use your arrow keys to check the appropriate radio button. I will press enter to stick with the default keyboard layout. Close button. Dialog window eyes quick start wizard quick start complete. If you would like to register your window eyes software, tab to the register button and press enter. You will be taken to the window eyes registration web page on GW Micro's website. If you would like to exit the quick start wizard, Without registering, press enter to activate the close button. I will now quickly run through the registration process. Tab to the register button, register button, and press enter to get started. Register window eyes. You can reach the registration web page from the last step of the quick start wizard by activating the register button or by selecting Register window eyes in the help menu of the window eyes control panel. On the registration web page, your name and company information will already be listed in the appropriate form fields assuming you provided this information during installation. I will move to the address edit box to complete the remaining details on the registration form. Press the window eyes browse mode navigation key E as an echo until you navigate to the address edit box and then press enter to turn browse mode off. Mark edit box first name Solomon edit box last name GW micro edit box company edit box address 1 browse off. Next I will type in my address followed by tab to navigate to the next field. 7 2 5 Airport North Office Park 
Address 2 Edit Box Address 3 Edit Box City Edit Box 4 Wayne State Slash Province Edit Box In Postal Code Edit Box 4 6 8 2 5 Country Edit USA Phone Edit Box 2 6 0 Dash 4 8 9 Dash 3 6 7 1 Email Edit Box Com Mark GW Micro com. After I complete all of these fields, I can choose to opt in to the GW News email list by checking the checkbox with the spacebar. I'll press tab to navigate to that checkbox now. Serial number GWWEOFFICE edit box. Purchased from edit box. Check this box to subscribe to GW News, the announce only e mail list from GW Micro unchecked checkbox checked. Finally, I will tab to the submit button and press enter to submit the form and send in my registration request. Submit button. Thanks for checking out this How Do I Do That tutorial from GW Micro. For more information about WindowWise for Office, please visit www.windowwiseforoffice.com.